Hello, and welcome to WitAM, a daily look at world, national, regional, sports, and campus events and weather. I'm Gage Tunison. The New England Patriots are now tied with the Pittsburgh Steelers for the most Super Bowl victories. Following Sunday's 13-3 win over the Rams in Atlanta, the Patriots now have six Super Bowl trophies and 11 trips, which equals Pittsburgh's six Super Bowl titles. New England has also been to 11 Super Bowls, which is three more than any other team in history. Bill Belichick has been the head coach for the Patriots' six Super Bowl titles, and Tom Brady has been the quarterback. President Trump is teasing important news-making announcement when he delivers his State of the Union address. During an interview with the CBS Face of the Nation, Trump declined to share details about the upcoming meeting with the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un or whether he'll declare a national emergency at the U.S.-Mexico border, instead teasing that such high-profile questioning will be answered in his speech. He said he would reveal his, the time and location of his second summit with the Kim during Tuesday's State of the Union address or shortly before. An Emmett County inmate is facing additional charges after assaulting a jailer and escaping from custody. The sheriff's office says 19-year-old Devine Watkins of Delaware escaped through a door Friday night and was captured a short time later. An Esterville police dog was able to track Watkins down and officers apprehended him. He was jailed for burglary at Isla Lakes Community College dorm and is now facing escape from custody and assault charges. We'll be right back with a look at your WIT TV weather and campus events. Every day across the country, hundreds of college radio stations take to the air. Broadcasting music and programming that you won't hear anywhere else. College radio changes the lives of those who are involved with it. And can change those who listen to it too. You can support college radio by donating to the College Radio Fund. This fund gives financial grants to college stations that need it the most. And is run by a nonprofit charity called the College Radio Foundation. For more information, please visit collegeradio.org. Welcome back. Some Americans and many around the world will be welcoming in the new year, the, welcoming in the year of the pig Tuesday night for Chinese New Year. This year is not just any pig, however, but the Earth pig on the six year calendar. To many, that signifies that the world year will be full of wealth and fortune. Many countries take three to five days to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Some plan to celebrate until February 15th. The date of the Chinese New Year each year is tied to the arrival of the new moon between January 21st and February 20th. A 320-year-old shaped heart-shaped meteorite is up for auction, just in time for Valentine's Day. Christie's announced that the heart of, the, of space will be up for auction from February 6th to February 14th. It is expected to net between $300,000 and $500,000. The meteorite was supposedly formed when it broke free from a larger meteorite at a high altitude as it flew over Siberia. It was obtained from New York's Makovich collection of meteorites. Maroon 5, Travis Scott, and Big Boy lit up Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta last night during the Super Bowl halftime show. Maroon 5 led the show with frontman Adam Levine singing their hits Girls Like You, Moves Like Gagger, She Will Be Loved, and more. Travis Scott performed his hit Sicka Mode and did some crowd surfing. Big Boy performed Outcast track The Way You Move. There was a brief appearance by SpongeBob SquarePants, a marching band, a female gospel choir, and a fireworks display. Taking a look at the weather, today will be mostly sunny with a high near 13 with a north-northwest wind up to 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts will be as high as 35 miles per hour. Tonight, it will get increasingly cloudy with a high of 2 and northwest winds from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tuesday will be a bit cloudy with a chance of snow in the afternoon, the high near 16. East winds will be from the 5 to 10 miles per hour, and the chance of precipitation is 60%. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow.